how did you become a chair umpire? Well, I used to play tennis as a hobby, well, as a junior back in Greece, and then we had an international tournament and we held those line judges. So I enjoyed being on court doing something else other than playing, and that's how it all started. Career highlights. I've done loads of special matches, um, a lot of Grand Slam finals, and they're very special to me. But I think a tournament that I will always remember are the Olympics in Athens. Uh, of course, being from Greece, having the Olympics there and have all my friends around, it was, uh, it was pretty special. Do you have to get your eyes tested often? Yes, every year actually, at the end of every season, November, we need to do an eye test. Do line umpires practice their arm actions or is it natural? <laughs> Well, they don't practice, but when somebody's um, training to become a line umpire, yes, they tell you you need to go down on your knees, you know, like that, and arm out or arms down if it's a if the ball is good and stuff like that. <laughs> Are you friends with any players, or is it not allowed? No, that's not allowed. Um, for obvious reasons, conflict of interest, but uh, of course, I mean, we see the players week in, week out, so with some of them we are a little bit more friendly, but no, definitely not friends. <laughs> Hardest part of being an umpire? Being focused for a long period of time, because a match can obviously, especially in a Grand Slam, can last for five hours or whatever, and uh, not being able to go to the toilet. <laughs> Players can call for a bathroom break? Yeah. Can umpires? Yes, they can, and I think every now and again people have. It's just, I don't like it personally, and I try to avoid it. But then often leaves me with stomach cramps at the end of the match. 